back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 best DLC guns in the entire game. Now, these are going to be my favorite top 10 DLC guns in the game. Now, guys, let me know in the comments what your absolute favorite DLC weapon is, and you'll see mine when we get to number one. Coming in at number 10 on our list of top 10 best DLC guns in Call of the Wild is the Vasquez Cyclone 45 air rifle. Now, this is a bit of an underrated weapon. It doesn't get used as much as I think it probably should because this is a pretty great weapon. It is the quietest rifle in the entire game. It can definitely be used for stacking piles of cash if you have a little bit of patience. It zeroes in at 25, 50, and 100 meters max. So I have parked my rear end here in a tripod 100 meters away from these pronghorn. Now the air rifle is good for only classes two to four. I wish we did have another air rifle that was good for larger classes of animals. Maybe we'll get one sometime, but this one is still pretty darn great. Now watch as I shoot one of these pronghorn. None of the rest are going to spook. They will go alert. You want to wait for them to go back calm again. Once they do, you can shoot another one. Wait till they calm down and you can just keep shooting and take Taking them out. Show you right here. Is he dropping? He is. Okay, we got him. And as you can see here, this guy is alert. I mean, girl. See, that guy's not even spooked. He's calm. He's just coming in. So the air rifle actually has seven shots, which is very, very sweet. It uses the regular scopes. I have the Hyperion on here. See, and then once they're calm again, take out another one. Is he gonna drop? Maybe not. <laughs> I gotta take a good shot, but the air rifle is an amazing weapon and I do highly recommend that you try it. And the air rifle comes in weapon pack three. It has an accuracy of 60, a recoil of 10, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 80 with seven rounds. Now guys, somewhere in the video, I am gonna share a key phrase. Drop that in the comments for your chance to be featured in a video. We choose one winner per month. Now, if you are on console, since we don't have crossplay, it would then be a live voice chat also featured in a video. Coming in at number nine on our list of top 10 best guns in Call of the Wild is a tie between my two favorite DLC shotguns. That would be the Kuso Model 1897 16 gauge, which comes with the Rancho Del Arroyo DLC, and you can earn it through the missions, and the Strandberg 10 gauge, this baby right here, that comes in the high caliber weapon pack. Now, I have been using this 10 gauge like crazy, and it is super accurate. I really love it. Let's see if we can find some pheasants and test it out. Now the 10 gauge uses the plastic birdshot, buckshot, and slugs. It is good for class one and then four to seven and six to nine. So it's good for every class except for classes two and three. All right, and we have a pheasant and there it goes. Oh my gosh. So both of these shotguns zero in. Got it. Beautiful. They zero in at 25, 50, and 75 meters. Now the Strandberg has four shots, whereas the Kuso has five shots. But the shotgun with the most shots in the game is the Cacciatore, which is a non-DLC shotgun, and it has six shots. Oh, let's get the dog to pick that up. So they both use the shotgun scope, which you do have to unlock as a new player, and it is a non-DLC scope. And here is our pheasant, and there it is. Beautiful. Only took one pellet, but that's all you need need to take her down. Look guys, there's a pheasant right there. All right, fly baby. So this is the Kuso 16 gauge. Come on, go for a fly. You can do it. Yes. And splat. So this shotgun has five shots, but the Kuso and the Strandberg 10 gauge are the two best DLC shotguns in the game. And there is our pheasant and look at all the pellets that we got into him. Not bad, very sweet. So here is the Strandberg 10SA Executive in the store. It has an accuracy of 30, a recoil of 82, a reload speed of 25, and a hip shot of 88 with four rounds. And then we have the Kuso, which has an accuracy of 33, a recoil of 82, a reload speed of 29, and a hip shot of 88 with five rounds. Coming in at number eight on our list of top 10 best DLC guns in Call of the Wild is the Sarugi 338 Bolt Action Rifle. Now the Sarugi comes in the 
the Hunter Power Pack. It is good for classes seven to nine. And at this point, I would basically tie the Sarugi with the 300 Magnum, although I do feel like the 300 Magnum is still a better rifle than the Sarugi 338. So maybe I will give them a tie. Now the 300 Magnum was number one on my list last time we did this countdown, but because of the new weapon packs that have come out, there is a new number one rifle in the countdown, which we will talk about later on. So this is the Sarugi. So this is a bolt action rifle, and anytime you use a bolt action rifle, you're gonna get a little bit of extra recoil after you take each shot. So watch as I shoot this moose, pay attention to the recoil. Here we go. See that little, and I think I hit the female. <laughs> But we splattered the moose! Now the nice thing about the Sarugi 338 compared to the 300 Magnum is that it is definitely more accessible. You can just purchase the Hunter Power Pack and when you do, you can go into the store and purchase the Sarugi for zero dollars in game. Whereas when you purchase the 300 Magnum, you first have to purchase the Yukon Valley DLC, then you have to unlock the 300 as a new player, and then you have to pay 75,000 in-game dollars for it. So the Sarugi is definitely more accessible for new players. And here is our moose and beautiful heart shot, but the Sarugi does struggle to double lung a moose. And I think there's just one weapon in the game that can do that now. Well, maybe two. And they definitely are in the countdown and you will see them very soon. So the Sarugi is great for things like lions. I don't find it the best on moose just because moose are tanks, but it is definitely a really good class seven to nine rifle. It has an accuracy of 38, a recoil of 100, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 12, and carries five rounds. Okay, so now we're gonna test out the 300 Magnum on these two bull moose. So the 300 Magnum comes with four shots. It does zero in, just like the Sarugi, at 75, 150, and 300 meters. And I love how powerful it feels in your hands and the sound that it makes. We got two heart shots there. That was very sweet. So we got heart and left lung there. Not a crazy amount of penetration, but definitely does the job and is really amazing for grinding things like moose, lions, cape buffalo, all those big game animals in the game. The 300 Magnum is still a really amazing rifle. It has an accuracy of 80, a recoil of 90, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 35, and has four rounds. Coming in at number seven on our list of top 10 best guns in Call of the Wild is the Hudzik Caplock Muzzleloader. Now the muzzleloader comes in the smoking Barrels weapon pack. And between the two ammos, it is good for classes three all the way up to eight. It has this very sweet scope and it zeroes in at 100, 150, and 200 meters. Now it only takes the one shot and then it is going to leave you in a very big cloud of smoke. Then it has about a year and a half reload time. Not quite, but it does have a very long reload animation. Animation. So if you do want a follow-up shot, definitely have a second weapon waiting, cycle over to the second weapon and continue shooting, and you can reload your muzzle loader later. Right. And splat for that white tail. So let's watch the reload animation now. It is going to take quite a while and I am gonna let it play all the way through. But the muzzle loader is, I would say, more of a fun weapon to use, very popular in the game, just not super practical. And it's still reloading, not done quite yet. And if you can hear my cat in the background, I do apologize. He just will not be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a liver left lung and right lung shot. Look at the penetration, holy on an angle. And it split this white tail in half. So it is definitely a very powerful weapon and it is a lot of fun to use. It has an accuracy of 25, a recoil of 70, a reload speed of five and a hip shot of 15. And it only has the one round. Coming in at number six on our list of top 10 best DLC guns in Call of the Wild is the Marathi Model 1894 Lever Action Rifle. Now this rifle comes in the Ambusher DLC, so it did come out within the last year, and it is a really amazing rifle. It has the craziest penetration. It might have the most penetration of any rifle in the entire game. Pretty close, if not. Now, the one drawback is that it only zeroes in at 50, 100, and 150 meters. Most 48 rifles zero all the way up to 300 meters, so that is a bit of a drawback. But you definitely can get further shots just by practicing. So we're gonna zero to 150 here. And we dropped them. 
So that's the reload animation. So it does carry six shots, which is very sweet. And we got a double long look at that penetration. Holy. Now, another really sweet thing about the Marathi is that it is good from classes three to eight. So on some maps, you can take it and you won't even need to take a lower class weapon if you don't have any class two species on the map. It has an accuracy of 80, a recoil of 43, a reload speed of 57, and a hip shot of 76 with six rounds. Coming in at number five on our list of top 10 best DLC weapons in the game is the Virant 22 LR. Now I take the Virant with me to any map that has class one species. It is only good for class one. It zeroes in at 50, 100, and 150 meters. So basically it's your long range rifle for class one species for shooting things when they get beyond shotgun range. It has 10 shots, which is amazing. And that is why it is better than the Zarza 22. But otherwise, they are very comparable weapons. And we got them. Beautiful. So the Virant comes in weapon pack one. And here is our duck. And beautiful. Good thing it has a big hitbox. <laughs> but that was 105 meter shot. And the Virant has got you covered for class one. It has an accuracy of 100, a recoil of 10, a reload of 49, a hip shot of 86, and has 10 rounds. Coming in at number four on our list of top 10 best DLC guns in Call of the Wild is a tie between three of the very best four to eight rifles in the game. Those would be the FL Sporter 303, the Eckers 30-06, and the M1 Iwaniak. All of these rifles are good for classes four to eight. They all zero in at 75, 150, and 300 meters. And they all use the Hyperion and the Argus scopes. So this is the FL Sporter 303. It comes with the T. Alwaroa DLC. You can earn it for free by doing the missions, and I believe it's around $40,000 in game. Basically, when weapons come with maps, you have to pay for them in the store, and when you purchase maps through DLC packs, once you purchase the DLC with real money, the weapons are $0 in the store. So let's take this guy down and splat. Look at that, we got a double lung heart shot with the FL Sporter 303. That was a pretty sweet shot from 210 meters. And I am using the polymers. I always use the polymers when given the choice. Beautiful. It has an accuracy of 55, a recoil of 64, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 67 with five rounds. Guys, if you are enjoying the video or learning anything at all, please take a second and hit that like button. That would be completely amazing. Thank you so much. So now we're gonna use the Eckers 30-06. So the 30-06 only has four shots and it actually weighs one kilogram more than most of the other four to eight rifles. That's the only downfall, but the sound it makes, I just love it. Now, I've actually never tried the 30-06 on a moose, but let's try it. Moose are class eight and the 30-06 is a four to eight rifle, so we will get integrity, but I would imagine this moose will run for quite a while. Here we go. Oh, I love that sound, it's so good. Drop, baby. How could that not be a good shot? It's a good shot. That's how long it took for him to drop. Now, normally I would use the 300 on any moose, but you can use any 48 rifles on them. Okay, so here is our moose, and we ran 230 meters, so it's not that bad. And there he is. So we did blast through the scapula, and we did get right long, so that is pretty good from 198 meters. But normally, I would use any of these 4 to 8 rifles on class 4 and 5. They're better suited to classes 4 and 5 animals, like whitetail and mule deer. Not as practical for moose, but they definitely will do the job. It has an accuracy of 35, a recoil of 80, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 50 with four rounds. And I should mention that the Eckers 30-06 comes in weapon pack three. So now we are going to use the M1 Iwaniak, which comes in the smoke and barrels weapon pack. Now I actually used this weapon to shoot thousands and thousands of whitetail on my first whitetail grind. And look at that, we have a level three here. So the M1 will do an amazing job on any whitetail, red deer, fallow grind. And it has that iconic ping when you do take the last shot. So let's take this guy and splat. So here's the last shot and there's that ping. Beautiful. 
All right, here's our level three. He looks pretty sweet, and he is a diamond, 261.91. And look at that shot, double lung from the M1. So it has pretty amazing penetration and is amazing for species, like I said, for things like whitetail, mule deer, red deer, anything class four to eight. It has an accuracy of 35, a recoil of 82, a reload speed of 49, and a hip shot of 50 with five rounds. Coming in at number three on our list of top 10 best DLC guns in Call of the Wild is my absolute favorite 4 to 8 rifle in the entire game and that would be the Zarza 308. Now the Zarza 308 comes in the Modern Rifles DLC. It is good from classes 4 to 8. It's a little bit quieter than other rifles and it just handles amazingly well. It just absolutely obliterates Whitetail and I would say that this is probably the most popular 4 to 8 in the game. Not just for me but for most people. Most players like the this four to eight the best. So let's take a couple white tail down. Dude! Oh, we got him. And splat. So like the other four to eights, it zeroes in at 75, 150, and 300 meters and does have five shots. So we got a double lung shot there from 186 meters and it absolutely dropped this white tail. Hey, he's not a bad one. 240. Pretty sweet. It has an accuracy of 45, a recoil of 75, reload speed of 59, and a hip shot of 50 with five rounds. Coming in at number two on our list of top 10 best DLC guns in Call of the Wild is the Malmer 7mm bolt action rifle. Now the Malmer 7mm comes in the Hunter Power Pack and it is good for classes four all the way up to nine. And unlike the DLC 7mm, it has three shots compared to just one. It zeroes in at 75, 150, and 300 meters. So carrying the 7mm eliminates the need to carry a four to eight and a seven to nine. Now the bolt actions do have that little bit of extra recoil that I don't love, but other than that, they are very powerful weapons. All of the weapons in the Hunter Power Pack are all very powerful. Turn, dude. See that little jaggedy jump? That's what I'm referring to. And he is dropping. We got them both. So that's the reload animation. It does reload fairly quickly. Okay, here is our moose. And we did get a right long shot and that was perfectly broadside. It is almost impossible to double long a moose with just about any rifle in the game. But the next one has the best shot at it. But there you go. That is the Malmer 7 millimeter. So you definitely could use it on any moose grind. It has an accuracy of 35, a recoil of 85, a reload speed of 40, and a hip shot of 25 with three rounds. Coming in at number one on our list of top 10 best DLC guns in Call of the Wild is the Arzina 300 AR. The Arzina is just incredible. This is it right here. No, it's not. This is it right here. <laughs> It zeroes in 75, 150, and 300 meters, and it does have five shots. It's good for classes seven to nine. And if you do have three points in recoil management, this weapon has almost no recoil. It's kind of insane. Watch this as I shoot two moose. Don't know if I got a good shot there, but... Oh, we definitely got him. Look at that, there was like no recoil. It's insane. So this is the reload animation. So not too bad, pretty quick. So the Arzina came out recently in the high caliber weapon pack and that pack is worth it just for this one rifle. But the other two weapons in it are pretty great as well. So here is our moose, pretty good penetration. We actually got two vitals on him. Love to take a broadside. I have got double lung with the Arzina before. Not every time, but it definitely is possible. Let's have a look at the next moose. Okay, here he is. And because of the angle, not even close to getting double lung, but definitely did a great job on this moose. It has an accuracy of 90, a recoil of 75, a reload speed of 59, and a hip shot of 50, and it does have five shots. And if you did enjoy the video or learn anything at all, hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button for more Call of the Wild content, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Click right here for the top 12 best DLCs for new players in 2024.